going to leave. <laughs> yes. <laughs> see you. See you next meeting. Next meeting. <laughs> okay. Okay. Old, listen. No. Yes. Let me. Okay. So you perfect. Can hear me better. Perfect. Thank you. Okay, guys. My name is uh, Sergio Silva, and um, I'm a PhD student at Utah University also, and I'm here to present you a talk about rapid minor from data models, uh, from data to models, the step-by-step -step introduction. But let me start by saying a small disclaimer. I'm not a rapid minor expert. So um, uh, I will share with you guys some uh, guidance and give you some uh, insights so you can start exploring data with this tool more easily, but taking in mind that I'm not an expert on this. <laughs> okay, so let's start. Um, today, over 4 billion data analytics are produced every hour, and uh, no person is able to analyze this data and deliver new insights about it without wasting thousands of hours creating models and hypotheses. With rapid minor, you can transform these thousands of hours in just a few minutes. I hope you can enjoy the talk. Okay. If you already have installed rapid minor, you should be able to see a welcome screen like the one that is uh, presently on the presentation. You can see my presentation, right? Yes, yes, perfect. So uh, the welcome uh, screen has uh, um, the, the start, recent, learn. You can uh, um, uh, navigate through all these. Uh, usually, when I start doing some analysis, I always start with a blank process, but you can use any one of these auto models that already are here, like templates and so on, if you want to learn a little, little bit more. Okay, if you start with a blank, um, you should be uh, taken to a screen like this uh, in the blank process. And uh, this is the design perspective. And on the design perspective, you can see over here on the top, this is design. You have the, the result perspective, you have a tu turbo prep and an auto model and deployments. On the design perspective, that is the, the one that you should use more. On the center, you have the process and the uh, rapid mine uh, works like uh, building blocks. So um, you can, uh, um, drag operators from the left to the right, to the center, you will see in a few minutes, and you can connect uh, these operators and make operations very easily. On the top left, you have the rep repository area with the import data um, connections and uh, your local repository, also some samples of data that uh, you can use. Also on the left, you can see the operators that are ordered in groups like data access, blending, uh, cleaning, modeling, scoring, validation, and so on, okay? Uh, you can use these operators to uh, import your data from files, database, and many other external sources, okay? On the right of the screen, you have the parameters and you also have uh, help uh, that is uh, context-based. So if you are connected, for example, on an operator that is uh, importing, you will have an, an help related to the, the, the importing uh, process, okay? Uh, as I told you, uh, on the operator side, you have some building blocks that are tree uh, order, and um, these uh, uh, operators 
can be um, dragged to the main screen. Okay. This is an example of uh, the building blocks that were dragged to the, to the process area. And it, uh, you can see you have a read Excel file, then uh, you connect it to a select attributes from the Excel file, then we set roles if, you, if we want, we have a decision tree, then you, we apply the model, then we read uh, new data and apply the model to, the, to this new data and we have the result. Okay. So we will start the process with the easiest part that is important data. So on the left side, if we uh, just go to data, we can drag Iris to the main screen and we have uh, all the data related to the Iris process here, okay? Um, it's just a drag and drop process. Okay. As I told you, on the lower corner, there will be some um, um, uh, help uh, related with the, 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 the process that you just drag into the, the, the main area, the operator that you just drag to, to the main area. If you want, you can also jump to a tutorial process that will help you to know how to load, import, read um, data. If you don't need it, you just go on and drag the next uh, op operator. For example, if uh, I just connect the iris that you see here to the output, and uh, after connecting the iris to the output and just press the run button, it will immediately change from design to results and the results is just my data show on the screen like a table okay and on the iris we can uh, uh, see a data set that describes 150 if i'm not mistaken iris plants with four art attributes the sepal leg sepal wide petal leg petal wide and also um, a column that is uh, labeled here uh, that um, tells us to which um, class this kind of plant belongs, okay? Um, if no result is shown uh, on your screen, it's because, for example, you have not connected the output to the exit area okay anyway you can um, on the results area you can also see we were on data but we can go to statistics we can go to the visualizations of the data and uh, if we put some annotations on the data we can also see our annotations and uh, for example i can see that uh, there are three main groups of um, of plants the iris setosa the iris versicolor and the iris virginica okay and uh, there are also some around 50 plants of each that's what, because they are 150 in total okay so as i told you before if uh, for example you try to run uh, press the run button and uh, something happens. Usually, Rapid Miner will tell you some message like the one that you are seeing here. Final connection is missing. To be results, make the connection to this part and run again. Basically, you just drag from here and place it here, and you see a wire that is going to be sorry. A wire that is going to be from here to here okay and uh, you can also press fix now and the automatically uh, rapid mail will connect you your output 
to the result area. Okay. One of the things that we can do immediately as soon as we have uh, our data here is to use what is called the auto model. Okay. Um, and the auto model, as you can see on the upper part, you have design, results, triple pad, and auto model. The, the auto model will do all the models that you want and will help you to predict, to cluster, and to find out the liars on your data. Okay. The auto model is very useful uh, for you to understand your data. Uh, before start doing your model yourself. Okay, so basically you just uh, press on auto model, a window like this one will appear. Then you just follow the window, next and next, and uh, he, you should deselect the ID if it's not deselected. You can uh, use this place to select and deselect columns. Uh, I'm just going to use A1 to A4 that are the the sepal um, the, the sepal characteristics of the plants, and uh, I don't want to use anything else uh, before. Uh, sorry, before this, I, if I have chosen predict. And I've chosen the label uh, that I want to predict the labels itself. Okay. If I don't choose it, you will ask me to choose a column uh, with what, what I want to do. Okay. So basically, after being here, uh, when I click next, he asked me for the models that I want to try. And I just select all the models and press run. After this, I will have all the models as results on the left side. And I also have some uh, data analytics about each model, for example, my bank uh, on this data that I already uh, put it gives me some classification error of 2.2. They say that generalized linear model is one of the best and so on, so on, so on. So, can go, for example, for the results of decision tree and see the model itself. And he has creating a, a model uh, with the, the, the separation till it gets to Iris cetosa, Iris versicola, Iris virginica, or Iris virginica. Okay? We can see the, the weights, the simulator, the performance, the predictions, and also the production model. And we can immediately deploy one of uh, these models. We are not going to use this part, uh, but it's just going in front. This is the decision tree performance. We can see the confusion matrix where uh, related to true iris cetosa, the prediction was 14, uh, so 100%. Uh, related to true iris versicola, we have a prediction of 15, so also 100%. Uh, and we have a uh, not so good prediction here on uh, Iris Versicola to true uh, Virginica, where we only achieve 92.86%, but it's also very nice. And basically, the only thing that we already done is that we have this connected to there and go to auto model, nothing else. Okay. But this is not our model. Uh, we want to have a model where we see what we are doing, also test the performance of the model and do some results. But it's very nice for us to have an idea what, what could be the results that we can achieve with, with uh, each model and will help us uh, to, to understand uh, what is happening and uh, even what, how much time each model will take uh, with that. Okay, so basically, uh, as I told you, this is just a drag and drop uh, process. So 
as an ex exercise. Um, I'm going to create the model of the decision tree that you saw the auto model has done before. So basically, I, I'm retrieving the, the iris and then I'm just searching for decision tree and put decision tree in front of it. Okay. So uh, this basically, if I run, will uh, set me the model and also set me the results of the, the, the decision tree. Okay. So if I play run, I will have the decision tree and I have the, my example of the, um, the, the iris, okay? This is the same decision tree that uh, you saw before with the, um, some uh, small modification, but is the same decision tree, okay? But when you want to do real analysis of your data, you don't want to use all the data for the analysis. So basically, we will we'll drag a split data um, operator and we'll connect the output of the iris to the input of the split data. And then we will pay, uh, take a part of this data and connect to our decision tree. Then we will take the second part of this data and connect to our apply model. And we take the model itself and put on the apply model again. And we will also take a performance and uh, just connect to the performance. And we take the model outside just to also see the results and we have the performance result and we have the data result. If we do these kind of connections, then we will, besides the, the model that we already saw before and the example of the apply model, we also will have the performance of the, the data. As you can see, the values have lower a little bit. That's normal because we have uh, divided our data into two parts, okay? We are not using the 150 um, plants that we have on our data. We are just using uh, a part of the data to make the model and the other part is used to test the model itself, okay? Usually uh, many people do the mistake that they, they first do the testing with the data and then they do the performance with the same data. That's a, a mistake because if you are using the original data to test the performance of your model, the, the performance will always be around over 90%. Uh, okay? So you should split your data into two, three, four parts, and then test you, your, your model. Okay? One thing that you can um, uh, also do is that as we have now the split data um, results, we can auto model immediately the split data and see if uh, there is any kind of other model that is better using our split data. And um, so if we, if we go to uh, the auto model again, the auto model will give us on the split data uh, some other results. As you saw in the beginning, the generalized linear model with all the data was much better for classification. But in fact, if you only use part of your data for classification, the naive base will have a classification error of 0%. So it's much better than all the other models. So let's apply our naive base um, model. So it's very easy. We just delete our decision tree uh, operator, drag naive base. You can also write on that, that area over there for uh, looking for uh, uh, any kind of model. Just drive, start writing naive and you will 
show you any kind of operator, drag into the main screen, and as soon as it's on the main screen, you just remember, put the upper part on the naive base and the lower part on the apply model. I'm doing this because I've split my data into 75% and 25%, but you can do any kind of split data, just double click on split data and uh, a window will open and you can just put 0 0.7, 0 0.2, 0 0.5, whatever you want. And you, you know that if you split in three parts, the first part will be uh, the first part that you have split, like 70%. The second part will be 20% and the lower part will be 10%. So you can always have another model over here, put the 10% over here and uh, do any kind of um, performance. Okay. As a reference for this small talk, uh, you have uh, Rapid Miner, Data Miner Use Case and Business Analytics Applications. It's a book, very nice. Uh, you have Predictive Analytics and Data Miner from Morgan Kaufman, 2015, and Exploring Data with Rapid Miner. It's a packet published of 2003 from Chris Alfandre. Okay. So, uh, I don't know if you guys have any questions. Let me just open my rapid miner here. Let it strike here. So you can see the ratios here. Okay, so I can remove the entrance. And if I do okay, you will see that the data now has a problem. All the other performance set problems. And if I double click, okay, add entry 0 0.7, add entry 0 0.3, okay. Then my model doesn't have any problems anymore. Just press run and, and we have the performance that you already saw before. And we have the examples. And we have the sample distribution and so on. Okay. You can go to design anytime that you want, and you can add any more operators that you want. You can just, it's just a simple drag and drop process. You can add the validation, and uh, you can also drag. Uh, any other kind of operators here and just go on and uh, start doing your models. Anyway, as I told you before, if we drag from here to here, okay, we have uh, again, example of the split data. We have the example of the apply model, uh, okay, and we can do for example, on the example of the split data, the auto model, just click the, the column. If you don't click it and try to predict, let's go back, let's unclick it, I'll click it. Yeah. It's already clicked it, but if I have not clicked it before, you will ask me to click one, uh, one of these. So I can go next, next, can deselect, let's, I decided that I don't want to use A1 on my model. Then next, run, and he will try all other models and do and it will try to do the, the classification using every model. This will take um, a few minutes. Um, depending on the how many models that you have selected and the amount of data that you are trying. Remember that I'm trying only with uh, 150 uh, rows, but if I was trying like 10,000 rows, it will probably take one hour and some models to, to get the results. So this can take a lot of time and be prepared to let it run 
for hours if you decide to, to test on every model. Okay. So I can see here that the naive is still is the best um, and, and also it, it scores like best performance, best brain gain. Okay. Um, but decision tree is the fastest total time. Uh, that's why I decided before to go for decision tree, even if it's not the best model itself. And um, I can go here for any model that I decide, see the model itself, as I only had, uh, as I deselected one of the, um, the, the types of the, uh, I have better results. Sometimes this happens when you have more characteristics. Sometimes you don't have better results. Okay. You can, um, many times it's better to have two very good um, characteristics to, to make some prediction than to have 10 that uh, are introducing error to our system. Okay. And uh, we can also, for example, open this process itself. I'm going to say that I don't want to change anything. And Rapid Miner will show you the process that he has created. Over here, we don't see the connections because Rapid Miner in the auto process um, uses a, a different uh, methods to do the stuff. Basically, if we go either double click here or go from here, we can see now the connections, okay? And is just remember the label data, okay? Remember there. So this is the input of the next block. We go on the next block, recall label data, Okay, is we, we are recalling what we have remember on the previous process and we are introducing to a new process. So you can use the auto model to learn how to train, what they do to optimize, to train uh, the process. We can use the auto model to see how they do that validation itself. Okay, so just remember that the way they connect these building blocks here, it's just the out of here. Sorry, it's not open, I don't know why. Okay, the, the exit here is because they are remember or storing in some place, okay? And then they go from this block to the output of the next by recalling what they have remember or recall the scoring data or recall a known value that was stored before. And it, this is the start and then remember scoring on the ex exit and they do it like that. So it's a little bit more complicated to read it, uh, but there's a lot of um, explanations for what they are doing. And so it's not so difficult to, to follow the process. So thank you very much. I have one question here, right? Okay, Sergio, thank you very much. Uh, as Sergio uh, said in the beginning, he's not a specialist in the, this kind of stuff, but we think this is very important to all the students and even for us, okay? Uh, today, we need to deal with a month uh, quantity of data and the challenge, the biggest challenge is to um, 
pushing information about the data, okay? I think almost all the students and today works need to do something like that. There are other uh, applications. Uh, as we know, Professor Roland can talk about it, but, but I think this tool is free for all the students, the PhD students from the university, uh, I think almost all the university Portuguese, but at UTAV. And uh, uh, thank you very much, Sergio. Sergio is almost finished his PhD and uh, need to use something, uh, a tool like that. And uh, I think uh, we, we, everybody has a good reference and uh, Sergio, don't mind if anyone wants to send me an email uh, to learn about the tool, okay? Uh, no problem. Okay, thank you very much. As I told you guys, I'm not an expert, okay. um, but anyway, uh, I did manage to, to do some um, analysis on Rapid Miner. So if you have any doubts, just send me an email, but be sure that the help of the Rapid Miner is great. They have a lot of tutorials. Just do it like I do, is that you drag an operator. If you don't understand how to use it, just go to the lower right corner, help on the, to that operator. There's the tutorial, follow the tutorial of the operator, and then you, you know, know how to use it. It's very simple. Can you put your email in the in the chat? Yeah, yes, please. Thank you very much. Just uh, a brief before the next presentation. Let me let me. We will talk in a minute about that, but sorry. Andrea, is everything ready? Let me. Only okay. Okay, I think it's better than Andre begin, and after we'll talk uh, with the students. Okay, Andre, can you present, please? Yes. Okay. Good morning. Thank you. So, good morning, everyone. Uh, my name is Andre Barata from Premier Valor. I'm going to present to you the InCyber Innovation Hub. It is a, an innovation ecosystem for cybersecurity. I'm going to make a brief presentation about the, what is the InCyber Innovation Hub. And then I'm going to talk about the, the call for projects that is now running. So the InCyber Innovation Hub, it's an accelerator of uh, cybersecurity innovation uh, that involves universities, research centers, uh, in institutes, uh, and also uh, companies and public organizations in an integrated ecosystem of collaboration. Uh, it uses a triple helix innovation model that uh, involves the university and research centers. That, uh, we have um, uh, universities from Portugal, Spain, Brazil, uh, United States, and Finland. Uh, also the industry, for example, our, our partners, and also public institutions uh, like the National Security Office, the Portuguese Air Force, uh, Bank of Portugal, and IDD Portugal Defense. Uh, as I said, our partners are Altis, Altis Labs, uh, PwC, EDP, and of course, uh, Premivore Consulting. Uh, I, I've seen that uh, Altis Labs is also a, a partner of the, the PhD for uh, the UTAD. So it's, it has that in, in common. Um, the objectives of the InCyber Innovation Hub is to establish a bottom-up process of knowledge and technology transfer 
uh, between universities and uh, research centers, the academia, and also the, the business uh, part, the organizations and the armed forces. And it aims to accelerate the digital transformation of businesses, also to improve the cybersecurity, cyber defense, and cyber resilience of organizations, and to promote cyber awareness among general population. Uh, talking about the governance of the InCyber, the people that are uh, overseeing, uh, we have uh, Tom, Professor Tom Vieira and Dr. Rita Vasconcelos from Premivor Consulting, uh, but also we have uh, Engineer José Algria and Engineer Omnis, the Chief uh, Information Security Officers from Altis and EDP. As the advisory boards, we have uh, the Rear Admiral uh, Antonio Gamar Marx, that is the General Director of the National Security Office. Uh, the General Jean Cartacho Alves, that uh, as a curiosity, yesterday it was appointed as the Chief of Staff of the Portuguese Air Force. Uh, and of course, as I mentioned, Engineer José Algri and Engineer Pomnich. Also, you have uh, Lieutenant Colonel uh, Luis Salmon Carvalho from, uh, from uh, the Ministry of, of Defense, um, Engineer Rui Carvalho from InnoWave, the head of cybersecurity. Uh, we have uh, Carlos Loeb, that is a lawyer uh, uh, that has a speciality in cyber cyber security and uh, data privacy, and also uh, Professor Luis Paul Reis, that is the part of the scientific committee and is the dir director of the Artificial Intelligence and Computer Science Laboratory. Uh, as a mentor board, we have Shomit Goals from uh, the Silicon Valley uh, ecosystem. Uh, he's uh, an investor in uh, startups, uh, and also a mentor for a lot of startups. Uh, we have Nun Pereira, that is a CEO of a startup in Silicon Valley. And from the ethics committee, we have uh, Dr. Sherry Rav, that is the, the chief inspector for the cybercrime unit of ju judiciary police. Here we have a brief video that the um, uh, Air Force made about the in cyber. Bom dia, sou o Major André Castro, da Ciberdefesa da Força Aérea. A ameaça cibernética é, cada vez mais, uma crescente preocupação no seio das Forças Armadas. E é uma área onde a Força Aérea, em coordenação com o Exército, Marinha e o Centro de Ciberdefesa do INCFA, estão muito atentos. Ameaças emergentes como ransomware, spear phishing e mesmo os IOTs, pequenos equipamentos um pouco por todo lado, ligados constantemente à internet, levantam desafios crescentes na área da ciberdefesa e segurança. Aguardamos assim com expectativa os vossos projetos para a edição deste ano do InCyber Innovation Hub. Boa sorte! Uh, so, as we have seen in the, the, this last year uh, and in the beginning of this year, uh, the, the attacks of the cyber of uh, the cyber attacks have become more prominent, uh, and we've seen in the, the last few months to the attacks to the the group Impresa and also to Vodafone. That this is a, a topic that is growing. Uh, uh, the interest among the population is growing uh, within Portugal. Uh, Regarding the, the phases that we have in the in cyber, uh, we have th three phases. Uh, the first is the project development in which we have the call of projects. Uh, we, we recognize the best projects from uh, students and uh, university professors, also um, researchers and PhD students. And this year we started a new category for startups. Uh, after that, we have a project implementation phase that we 
help um, the projects uh, that we from the call of projects to with some mentoring by uh, security, cyber security professionals and also some professionals in the area of economic and financial area regarding the business model and uh, that uh, business development. And also we now have a, a third phase, the in cyber summit that is an international summit that we want to create with presentations and interventions uh, regarding cybersecurity and cyber defense at the NATO uh, level, and uh, to bring together the universities, research centers, organizations, startups, and to promote the networking opportunities to those entities uh, in these areas. Uh, so, what is the vision for uh, the in cyber? It's it's the related to web summit like we have the web summit it's the same format but more focused on cyber security uh in the last year um in our managing partner professor Telm went to web summit but didn't saw the the topic of cyber security to have too much um attention so we decided to create um, a two-day summit uh, that's going to take place in November uh, 29th and 30th. Uh, uh, there's still not a defined location, but we have two, two possibilities, the Air Force Academy in Sintra and the National Defense Institute in Lisbon. And we'll have uh, talks, uh, several topics related to cybersecurity, uh, networking events. Uh, also, startups can present their idea to investors and some stands for companies to present their solutions, their cyber uh, security solutions to those that are interested. So, for the call of projects, this is the third edition. Uh, these are some strategic areas that you can work on, that you can present your um, projects. Uh, as I've seen, the, the, the PhD program has um, some topics re regarding uh, networks, uh, and we also have some topics uh, regarding networks. For example, uh, threat modeling applied to networks, uh, applied to 5G, um, and based on open RAN and edge computing approaches. Uh, the threat modeling to IoT, IoT communications, uh, the data protection uh, regarding that uh, IoT uh, communication, also the vulnerabilities of the 5G in general, uh, cloud security, um, also security by, by design, and there are several other topics that you can see on the, on the website of Insider. So uh, we have three categories, three distinct uh, categories. Uh, in this case, for PhDs, we have a researchers category that you can participate being a, a PhD student. If you are already uh, finished your PhD, if you are a researcher in a university, uh, you can present your project. If you are a researcher, you can present your uh, ongoing project or uh, previous uh, projects that you worked on. Um, and these are the, are the phases that uh, we have. So the registrations are open now until the March 15th. Uh, and then we have the project development uh, cycle that you have to then submit until June uh, 24th. After that, the jury will evaluate uh, your, your projects and will select uh, the best projects that will uh, present their ideas, their projects in the pitch ceremony that is within the in Cyber Summit uh, on November. So um, during the, the project development, there will be a follow-up questionnaire that you just you just have to make a brief um, 
a brief presentation of your project just to to see if it's within the the strategic areas these are the the evaluation criteria that uh, we use for the researcher uh, researchers category there is the methodology applied the technical development and the scientific component uh, also the innovation of the project solution the robustness of the product uh, in terms of possible implementation the business model this is only if it's applicable because sometimes it's just a, a scientific uh, a research that it doesn't have a business model uh, implied so sometimes it's not applicable to the project and also the project uh, uh, presentation the formal report that you submit the, the pitch ceremony uh, will take place in uh, elevator pitch format um, during the in cyber uh, summit. Uh, and we will select uh, the five best projects from the researchers category um, according to the criteria that you, you've seen uh, previously. Uh, for the the, the winners, we will uh, we'll, we will award the third, uh, the three best uh, projects. For example, the first, uh, the first, uh, the best project will receive two thousand euros in uh, monetary award and five thousand in dedicated mentoring. Um, the second one will receive one thousand in monetary award and two thousand and five hundred in mentoring. And the third will receive 1,000 in mentoring. All, all of those will have access to the in cyber ecosystem in, of innovation and access to mentoring from for the, all the partners that are related to in cyber. Uh, the importance of mentoring, uh, as we've seen, the those that have mentoring uh, the projects uh, have um, a better. Um, chance of success of to be implemented and to grow. Uh, and for that, we also have a partnership with the University of San Francisco to, to create special conditions to participants to go in an immersion program, in a one-week program that you can work on your, um, on your project, on your business model, and your pitch, then in the end, you will uh, pitch your project to uh, investors. So these are some uh, details regarding the program. Uh, so it's uh, one week in duration uh, in San Francisco. Uh, it's embedded on the, on the Silicon Valley um, ecosystem. So it's a really, uh, a really different uh, experience that we have, for example, in Portugal and in, in Europe in general. Uh, also, there are some company visits to, to, uh, in the Silicon Valley ecosystem, for example, Intel, uh, also the Kairetsu Forum that is a uh, a forum of investors that you can pitch your uh, project, your idea. And this is some, um, some feedback for the participants of one of the other projects that we have uh, uh, with ADP. Uh, so these are some highlights of the previous editions. The first edition uh, took place on the Air Force staff in Al Frigid. Uh, here you can have, uh, see the, the participants, uh, the, some of the, our uh, partners uh, and the winning project from uh, Polytechnic Institute of uh, Beja. Uh, in the second edition, it was on the Air Force Academy in Sintra. We counted with the, the participation of um, someone from a uh, Portuguese uh, team leader and knowledge and in, of Knowledge and Innovation from ENISA, that is the European Union Agency of Cybersecurity. 
and we have the, the category of students and PhDs. The PhD category was won by a, a PhD student from UTAD, uh, Nuno Mateus Coelho, with the, the project of Paranoid Operating System Methodology for Anonymous and Secure Web Browsing. So, as you see, Tad has um, an history with InCyber and is, uh, it delivers great projects. Uh, in the, the website, you can see the regulation for this, uh, the call for projects this year edition, and the monitoring team will all, always be available for any doubts that you have, any questions. This is the, the website for the InCyber, uh, and these are some the our contacts that you can uh, reach out to ask any questions uh, and also to to see uh, to see more information regarding the insight. This is it. Thank you very much. Okay, Andre. Thank you very much for this nice talk. Uh, I think we have now time for a, a question. If anyone wants, I think it's a great ecosystem of innovation with companies, mm -hmm. universities, and many good ideas. We ask all the students that want uh, that uh, uh, ask some some if anyone has any doubts and try to uh, apply to, to this uh, challenge. Okay. Any question, please? If uh, just one thing, Andrea, it is possible to share uh, after the video to all the students that are recorded or no? Uh the the recording yeah i yes. can share the the presentation also okay thank I you you put the, the okay yeah and we can share the video we are okay, uh, okay. no problem to see no no it? no problem no problem okay thank you any question please uh yes please hello thank you first for your presentation i do have one question is it yes. for the next sorry rs sorry present you okay yes oh, so sorry sorry my name is Areski Abdrahim okay. Shalal. Uh, I'm, a, I'm a PhD student in UTAD. I'm also a researcher in CEDRI in IPB. So actually, I, partic I participated in the previous edition of InCyber. Yes. Uh, it, it was in the student edition, and we were uh, and we were chosen from the public choice. Yes. So I wanted to know if for the next edition it will be also like this category the the 12 or it was 10 uh, 11 plus one uh yes no this year edition we we don't have the the public uh, the we had the public voting for uh, the videos but in this year edition we don't have that uh, but you can uh, also apply and will it will have be evaluated like the the other but you you participated in the students right yeah i participated as a student well now that since you are a researcher and a phd student now you can participate on the the researchers category uh with uh with other project okay 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 thank you okay thank you more question to bring andre to the weekend <laughs> may i have a question yes yes please yes. Uh, hello uh, everybody uh, i'm jean pavel i'm a teacher at uh, utah and currently a mentor in christian uh, which is also around here in this uh, audience uh, just a quick question uh, <clears throat> uh, these projects about uh, cybersecurity are only uh, technology uh, oriented or uh, we can use it also for uh, awareness and um, because we have some projects to go to um, uh, associations of uh, entrepreneurs mm -hmm. uh, of the region and uh, we want to to educate them for the first steps of these uh, things of cybersecurity 
Is it uh, possible to submit a project on the award awareness uh, uh, sector or it's just technology based uh, projects? No, it's just uh, the awareness. Uh, it's all also important. Let me just go back to the one of the topics that we have. It's regarding the awareness. Uh, uh, as you see, the 12, 12 one, it's the cyber hygiene and GDPR yeah. training problems and the 13 cybersecurity risks and awareness, the communication plan. So it's within the, the of course, these are some uh, examples of topics. It doesn't need to be just these ones, these 14. Um, the, the topics must be within uh, the scope of cybersecurity and cyber defense. Uh, and these are some, uh, sorry, some examples of topics can be re uh, using uh, technology, uh, of course, but also the, the awareness, it's one of the, the areas that we are um, focusing on. So it's, you can uh, submit that, that project. Okay, Pavel. Thank you very much. More questions, please. No? Okay. So, thank you very much, Andrea, for being with us uh, this morning. After, we're going to share uh, all this stuff and hope okay. we didn't know that Areski is the newest, one of the newest uh, PhD students, but it's very nice to hear that he, he has already participated and hope that this year we have more participation from Mutaz. Okay, Andrea, see you. Have a nice weekend and stay safe. And, okay? Thank, Thank you. Thank you very much. If you, you can share yeah. the presentation, it's very nice also. Yes, I'll, put I'll that send this. On the, okay. Thank you. Okay, see you. Now we have other things to talk. I'm going to... I have just a little... Let me... Uh, just uh, we i have here just uh, uh, about the, some information um, in a minute we are going to see how are the selection from the uc for each of student um, we're going to put uh, the our stuff just to validate after there is a, a, a newest new news from the UTAD. The European Association University has created the Council of Doctorate Education and UTAD belongs. Okay, this is a very nice uh, information for all. We suggest that once go to the link and see the newest news there are grants there are many opportun opportunities for all okay this is one thing that we want to to say we have also we, after we are going to share this but there are also news about er erasmus plus uh, grants for all we're going to share after this information okay but since the, there is new this is from one partner that we talked in the last week from the again this is a grand grand call of engineer engineers i think from junior uh, they share this with us there, there are here opportunities to mobility for students pay attention to that okay also after um, we are we need we we going to ask all the students all this is not only for the this year this edition this phd edition okay we want to ask everybody to talk about and put in the presentation um, a pitch like the, the past year but also graphical abstract to each uh, 
I don't know if you know what is a graphics, graphical abstract, but the idea is to talk uh, with image, okay? This is a very nice talk, uh, way to, to deal. And in July, don't forget, we hope that everybody, uh, um, for instance, the students from the, the, this, this year, 2021-2022, are present in situ at the 14th July at Quinta do Crest, okay? We hope that COVID is, so we have the COVID out and war becomes, but we'll see what happens. But uh, we ask every student, every the past year student, to have a small pitch like the past year and also a graphical uh, abstract about the doctoral thesis, okay? More after we need to, uh, agend the next the next uh, meeting we suggest on may okay two two months more or less uh, after the event of the crest i don't know if we can manage that now a saturday for instance uh, 14 14 may it's okay for everybody Yes, it is possible. 14 or 21 or 7. 7, seven May. No. no? no 14. Seven because it's the micro mouse. Ah, okay, okay. 14 May is okay for everybody? So it's two months before. before yes, more before or less. Before is not after, it's before. Okay. Ah, before. Sorry, sorry. Yes, yes. For, I think, May. It's okay? Okay. Yep. Okay. We'll see. We, we before. Okay. And I think. Uh, ah, one more thing. Please, please, use share the. You are everybody seeing the the my screen. Yes. 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 Please find us at the social net, at LinkedIn, at Facebook. We are all over the world. <laughs> In Facebook, okay, we share. Please share. Use your contacts to share our flyer. It is the newest version. It's almost the same, but we have new partners, new uh, layout. The layout, uh, don't forget our resident artist is Professor Roland, is not, <laughs> is a grant from credit credits. And we have also new partners and uh, more information. As we can see, let me see here. More information, more uh, collaboration, uh, companies in the, in the, we have also just to remember uh, Renault, for instance, is a group, is a company in Portugal, but he has uh, the central in France. We have other contact or other contacts to other companies. And we put that in the uh, also everything in the flyer. Okay, please uh, share to your contacts. I, I and have a question. Yes, uh, because some friends are asking me about uh, the PhD in Utah in Algeria. Yes, yes. And they wanted to know uh, when uh, they opened the inscription. Yes, I'm going to talk in a minute. The, the, I think it is, is now open. No? It's now open. I'm going to share with, uh, with everybody. Your colleagues must come to our... Uh, I'm going to put in English, yeah, don't I... worry. You can but... place the link in the... Yes, I'm going to put chat. the link. But uh, I think he's on the flyer, Nobolent. Yes, he's in the flyer. Yes. But I'm going also... I'm gonna, I'm gonna, to... I'm... Came here, okay? This is the official site. Admission. Admission. Go to the academic service office. Is a way I'm going to... I'm going to show in a minute other way. And here you can see master and PhD. 
the first phase is already open. Okay, there are three phases at most, but normally uh, in some situation we have four, but first phase is now open until 23 March. Okay, Arexki? Okay. If you Thank want, you. if you want, you can find in QR code, I think. This yeah, it's is... in QR code, but also you can place now the... Yes, I'm going to put uh, in a minute in the chat, but in the chat. this this QR code has the location, the correct location of the yeah, the admission. Okay, let me. I'm gonna put in a minute. I'm gonna copy copy this. I think I'm gonna put that in the here for all. But you don't you don't. Place that one. You can place the what the calendar. No, no, no. The what the mission link law uh, right away. Not this one because this one you you have a lot of things and then ah uh, okay the people. Yes, sorry. Yes, I understand. Not that one. That one. And... That one candidatures. Yes. That yes. One. Okay. I I think. You can go further because if, if you go to master's and PhD and then you also have to no to you... choose and then let me see. Uh, okay, mm -hmm. uh, I see. I, I'm gonna I, I understand. Go to sorry. academic services. And yes, then... yes. Sorry, sorry. I understand. Just in a minute. Okay, I understand. I think I'm gonna. I need to go to admission. Yes. 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 Find the in English admission. I'm gonna open in a new. I think is there. I think I don't know. Yes, I see, I think. No. No, it's not that admission. One. No, it's not that one. No admission. Don't key. Don't keep. correct. Quer dizer, nem nós sabemos como é que eles vão saber. No, no applications, talvez. Eu acho que é no application. Então, mas onde é que é o application? Está no, no anterior. Era em application, já passaste, Salvador. <risos> Isto é também nó. Então, mas eu estou. Tô... Eu acho que pus na reunião. Eu acho que pus na reunião. É assim. Nós estamos por aí pelo mundo. Quem quiser encontra-nos. Também vamos, <risos> podemos fazer a milagre, não é? Ok? Pronto. Uh, Areski is, is open, ok? If you need something, call us. Don't worry. But we have, as I, I say... I will place the... the yes, right yes, thing. place. But it is important to remark that... Don't forget that is for the 20, 2022-2023 edition, ok? And normally we have three phases. The first phase is, is open now, open on 16 February until 20 March. After we have the display results uh, at April. In the day after, we have the second phase. I think, Let, let's see. Second phase, I think, is at uh, July. 18 and the third phase is I think is in August yes no is until yes more or less at the end of August 3 September okay 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 thank you uh, so this is for me uh, the the information that I want to share I don't know if uh, professor Valent and professor I already has... placed the the correct direct link don't forget that for deal the login page to everybody don't forget that deals with the academic service is another phd okay yeah. <laughs> so talk with us first yeah and if you need something we talk with them okay don't worry but uh, as as everybody see it is not easy even for us but don't mm -hmm. worry this, we manage that thing, okay? Yeah. 
Uh, now some question. Let uh, Valente let let just the, share just the, to see just share the the yes the selection of the options selection for of the, the newest students. Okay, just to check if everything is all right, and after okay. we'll talk. Okay. Okay. You can see now the the screen and you can see the options only uh, burial because I, I think burial is only uh, off yes he's off, uh, off and students. also we don't we don't need to ah, do it right just now uh, but if, if if she she wants you, you can you can choose the and let, uh, uh, Jose... sorry sorry Valent. let me tell me just one thing this this is new for for us it is possible who wants at the first year to become an half uh, time students. We don't know about that in the previous, uh, previous uh, meeting, but it is possible only in the first year when there are uh, lative uh, classes, okay? Is it like, like the burial? I don't know if burial is, that, is there, but- Is there, yes, yes, I think yes. This is, okay. Go on, sorry. And, and also, I don't receive an email from uh, Jose Sarmiento with the, the options, or maybe... I uh, I sent the mail, I'm trying to search it now. Yes, but send uh, again, yeah, please. You can, okay. you can send again, please. Okay, thank you, I will send again. Okay. You can resend, because I don't find the, the, the email, it's the only one that's missing. But Of uh, course, of course, the, the, the option that is there, you can see it there, Yes. There are options. All all of you select four. Uh, burial, of course, is half student. You don't decide yet, but you can decide. She can decide now. And uh, Jose, I know one because Jose is is shows my my UC. So yes. that is the one. Um bocadinho maior, obviamente. Um bocadinho maior que se esse mapa. Eu não consigo ver pelo menos. Quer dizer, tens um computador com quatro eclãs e não sabes por isso maior que os dedos. <risos> é só com os dedos. É com os dedos, mas não dá. Não dá, tu no teu caso. Opa, tens que vender um ecrã do teu computador. Não dá. Não dá, porque isto é. Pronto, ok. Tem que se pôr aqui. Então, mas é. diz, for instance, Margarida Jerónimo, shoes and what? Yes, ok. Just to validate, ok? okay? When Quickly. you press that, that you cannot see the... the okay, but the... Uh, tell to all the students there are no much students if everything is okay. Okay. Margarida shows, I, I see algorithms, yes. Margarida shows... Let's see. Margarida shows um, algorithms, yes. methods, yes. Yes. To topics PDS, uh, yes. No. Okay. Just place, place. And uh, micro sensors and micro actuators. Okay. Is mine. This is mine. Is all right, Margarida. Yes. Yes. Okay. Marcelo, Marcelo Queiroz, is there? Uh, algorithms. Yeah. Uh, algorithms. Methods. Uh, mic sensors and micro actuators and uh, uh, image processing. Yeah, yeah, okay. Um, Who's for? Very, we Barrel already talked. Barrel is talk. not yet. MD uh, Abdul. Abdul. Yes. Is there? Abdul is also algorithms and me methods and uh, PDS topics. And also micro sensors and micro actuators. Is there Abdul or no? No, I, I think, think no. No. Cars uh, Costa methods, PDS topics, uh, telecommunication networks, micro systems and micro actuators. Yes. Is correct. Yes, sir. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I don't see. Uh, I see if. Uh, Issues, but it, it, it's not showing here. I don't know why. Maybe. Asif is there? A bag, no. a bag. 
maybe a bug from from the that is is there that uh, that is uh, correct but i will see what is the problem i don't know the problem uh okpanachi yes i'm here i can hear you oh, yeah okay. you can hear okay i spell right okpanachi Yes, that's correct. But John is fine. That's, you can stick with John. Yeah, John, John, yeah, John, John is fine. Is John is, yeah, John is fine. But, but yeah. Panashi is is beautiful name. So okay, uh, it's not so difficult to us. Yeah, it's not, it's for it's not, it's not difficult. <laughs> Not so Nuance good. is not very very easy, but <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the next one is more difficult. But Doc Panachi, I think I can spell it. Uh, methods, right, thank you. Methods, yeah. microtech, micro technologies, and uh, yes. telecommunication networks and micro sensors and micro actuators. Is that correct? Yes, that's correct. Okay. okay. Then is very difficult to pronounce, but Nuanzi. Nuanze, yes. Yeah, Nuanze? Nuanze. So the first N is silence. So it's like Wanze. Ah, ah one okay. Z. You don't like spell the N? Then Z. Wanze. Ah, you okay. don't spell the N? Very nice. The N is silence. You don't pronounce it. Silence. Wanze. Uh, yeah. Wanze, okay. exactly. Okay, thank you. Wanze. <laughs> Once you get this, then you can I'm trying not, it. For, not to forget that. <laughs> <laughs> because in Portuguese you you spell the 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 end, so the yeah, right okay. way is one day, not one day. Ah, okay. Thank just, you. Yeah. In Portuguese, just try to remember that. You choose yeah, algorithms. You choose algorithms, yes. methods, uh, control, yes. and uh, in, image, image processing. Process. Okay. Okay. And next. Uh, Jose Sarmiento is missing. Of course, yes. he's missing. Uh, I've so already I'll, I sent the uh, email. You send I think, email and that. I, but I, I think what happened that. is I sent uh, multiple emails and they must have filtered. <laughs> yeah, sometimes that, that's that's yes. what happened. Okay. So, but no, no problem. Okay, thank you. Uh, where am I? Okay. I think it's and then, uh, Are, yes. is that that's that's the correct name correct pronounce? Yeah, kind of, <laughs> but it is yeah, the correct pronunciation. Yeah. <laughs> what is the, the first the first uh, Areski or Areski? Yeah, it's Areski. Yes. It's correct Areski. Yes, actually it's yeah. air space. <laughs> but the, 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 okay. the, the second one, I, uh, I, I, I think I don't, no, I don't. There is no silent letter in the second one. It's uh, Abdul Rahim. Okay. <laughs> it's very difficult. It's very difficult. Yeah. And the last okay. one is Shillal. It's the family name. Sh Shillal. Shillal. Okay. It means waterfall in Arabic. So. Uh, waterfall. Shilal. Okay. Yes. Okay. Um, you choose micro technologies, you choose also PDS topics and the micro sensors and micro actuators and uh, image processing with the uh, uh, image processing. Is correct? Yes, it's correct. Okay. Thank you. I okay. think it's everybody. I don't know if yeah, there are. It's everybody. No, uh, there are so, uh, also a student, Guido. This is the newest student that we bring to a... Guido is there? Yes. After <laughs> you need to choose, you, you, can, you can think, but after send to Professor Valent, uh, the, you see it that you want, okay? Okay. Don't forget that. I will send right. you an email. Okay, it's better. Uh, Thank you. Uh, I don't know if you... Uh, uh, Sofian. Yes. You have the email of Guido? Yes, yes. Okay. But uh, Guido, please put your email yeah, you put on the chat. Email. Okay, I think it's better. Right. Yeah, I, I put right now. <laughs> okay. okay. I think there are all the students uh, from this year, I think. 
just one more uh any any doubts about that or any question no um good morning i have a question not, not yes. about this you know, it's yes. possible now or yes, yes right. okay good morning i try in english uh, okay. good morning uh, um, every year paul the question is for professor antonio valente and the uh, salviano Soares yes. and uh, jose batista See, it is about the, the locations to Quintero Castro to installation the system for the mm. sensor. Okay. I'm thinking last night, and yes. <laughs> I think it's uh, uh, possible to to uh, include the, the system in a, a bottle or a little or a big ah. bottle. Okay. Uh, yeah, it's possible with a garrafel. <laughs> the, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I understand. Like, like yes. a jerry can, you yes. can. Yeah. Uh, I think it's a nice idea. Yes, yes. And yeah. the, yes. Okay. Uh, just, just. I think. I think you only have to choose the right uh, plastics uh, because of the. Just to be similar to the the solar yeah. panel. Okay. The, I the right color. Just to do, or or black or white or transparent. You have to choose that. Uh, to 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 have similar reflections of the of the of the because the temperature that the body of the the bottle it will be different and 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 you must choose the the right one but of course it's a good idea to place that of course you have to place a, 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 a for instance a, 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 um, a something in, like a rock or something to, in 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 the at the, the 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 end of the river just to to fix the the yes. bottle. If and not, you a... you place the bottle at Quinta do Castro and you get that you you found that at, at the regua. <laughs> 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 you must fix you must fix at the bottom of the the river with a rock uh, or okay. something like that. Okay, Professor, Prof, Professor Batista, you think um, it's possible this idea or, or no? No, because um, or not a good idea. <laughs> I, I don't know. We uh, have to try. You have to try. <laughs> okay. Uh, once one uh, more uh, question. I um, studied um, about uh, it's near for me, but uh, I try and. Uh, it's a goal no, for me. And the latex. Um, okay. yeah. it, you it, try it? Yes, I try. It's, a, it's mm -hmm. a goal. It's, it's, I like the fuse. Uh, <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> okay. Uh, but uh, I, I'm sorry. It was a. Como é que se diz? Não há um tradutor, um não tradutor, um, um conversor. Não existe um conversor que se faça em Word. Oh. No, 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 no way, <laughs> no. <laughs> no way, because because is is a different way of of, of yes. writing. Word yeah. word is is uh, what you calling a, a, what you see is what you get. Okay. Because you when you are uh, writing in a word document, you yes. see what you will be right away in your printer or right away in your PDF or something like that. LaTeX is not like that. When you, you, when you write LaTeX, it's a compiled thing. You have to write and then the text will be compiled and then you get the, 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 the PDF version. Uh, so it will be, it, it is easier in LaTeX. Of course, you have a, a learning, uh, a longer, learning curve you take a little more time to learn because every children who gets the uh, word just write is, is, is immediately is right right away you don't need too much for writing some sentence on and get you some in bold and some uh, different uh, things but uh, it's when you go uh, further, it will be difficult to do something, some things in, 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 in words. Uh, formatting, uh, right formatting things, when you try to do the, 
the table of contents or the index, you get mm, uh, broken links and, and something like that. The LaTeX, you, you have more, more time to learn, you have to, to spend more time to, to learn the basics, but when you do that, it will be easier to do Okay. Almost all the, the documents. I'm going to send, uh, I suggest, Paulo, there are in at Tutad sometimes some talks that we you can assist. That I, I'm going, I think I have one. I'm going to send you. It's a small okay, okay. talk. Uh, we, it is possible. Okay. 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 Thank you. Okay. I, I, I try uh, to, to study LaTeX and uh, yes. next year I, I send <laughs> for a mail. To... Uh, uh, okay the few lines of it in the world. okay okay thank you i okay, think thanks, christian thanks. christian wants to talk please feel free good morning christian thank you hello yes. hello I, I just would like to mention that uh, my colleagues uh, michael and marcus and uh, and i we have some uh, payment issues we still have not got yes. any voice from that for the last year and we are just uh, worried about the status and hope we get the invoice to pay the outstanding fees. Yes, we we know about that. Don't don't worry. Uh, we talk to Pavan, your supervisors. There are some issues at the academic service, as I say, as I said before. But we try to manage as soon as possible. Okay, don't worry. Uh, about the the payment because it is important is to be uh, maintain the condition of uh, doctor students okay sometimes uh, there are uh, an automatic uh, stuff when a student more or may sometimes he want to pay but uh, it is not possible because the system reset Okay, there are some issues. Don't worry about that. Worry about the work is is important. Okay, we try. Uh, I already talked to to Pabão and Luis Torres Pereira about this stuff, but sometimes it's not very easy. Okay, uh, uh, we're gonna try uh, again, and as soon as we have news, we talk about that. Okay. Thank you very much. Okay. No problem. And uh, what about the work? Is everything is all right? No. One one thing that is important for our for the direction uh, to know is uh, make some uh, estimative when you 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 intend to present your PhD. This is important for us. Uh, one year, two years, this year, for instance. If you have that in mind, please talk with uh, your your supervisors, because this uh, this is that information is very important for us. We need to uh, uh, share a document to the government, to the accreditation of the PhD, and we, this uh, kind of information is important. Also, I know that when we when you are not allowed to pay the, the fees, it's not possible also to resist your project plan. But I know that we know that many of, of you have the, the stable, a stable project plan. When it is possible, try to resist at the service, okay? Don't forget that in the event, in the 14th July, uh, this year, every student have to make a graphical uh, represent, presentation of the thesis and the pitch. Okay, but this is not uh, the, registra the registration process of your project plan. Okay, this is done after. Is a, 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 an online process. We help, don't worry, but. It is important to do that when, don't worry, uh, when the, the, the ideas of your work is more stable. Okay? Everybody understand that? Yes? Any question? For now, 
I just have one more. I think Marcelo is there. Marcelo Queiroz. Yes? Yes. Can you share your uh, public, uh, no, public, sorry, no, Clarivate uh, certificate? Yeah. I think there are more three or, uh, three or four students have sent to us also this year the Clarivate certification. And Marcelo, can you share your certification mm -hmm. to all the, your yeah. colleagues? Yeah, of course. Well, one minute. Yes. Uh, If anyone have no uh, any doubt, please t <laughs> don't. Uh, I hope Marcelo don't don't mind, but talk with Marcelo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course. No, no problem. <laughs> I think it's with better. That, I can help. Okay. Okay. Um, okay. I don't know yeah. if if the students from this year have already. Um, Resist at okay. rate, but I think Marcel can help. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so, do you want to see that or the preview? Yes. Yeah, just that. Uh, no, uh, just uh, you... just talk about what uh, you need to do. Just in ah, a minute, okay. one minute okay. or two. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Let me yes. try to explain in one one minute. Just uh, so one minute. Basically, I can go to to okay. Uh, web of science okay yes and uh, okay i don't know why this happen but uh, okay uh, normally this don't happen yes i, I it, it's the same with my computer is i don't understand very well sometimes but Okay, okay, yeah, no, yes. uh, this is normal that I see. Uh, I think I already have the login made. Okay, uh, so the course is that one, okay, core previewing with a mentor. Okay, um, I already did that, so you already will see that done. And the three steps basically, this is um, uh, very far, okay, so you, so you can see. Um, You can do that basically. I think in in one day, okay, in some hours you can read that the topic. So basically, this um, this teach um, uh, how to do a review, uh, how to do that uh, uh, with uh, your mentor, uh, and uh, and this gave you. Um, uh, Guidelines, okay. I will okay. say to you. I I read have, have that here. So this uh, in final of step one, I think uh, you will. Uh, it's here, okay. You will have the opportunity to um, to see the guidelines. That is this, okay. okay. Uh, and you you can use that to 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 help you, okay, to do the review, okay. But The, the document that you uh, will use to to do your review is that one okay this is this is my review uh, done uh, already okay and this basically is the document that you that you will submit on the on the platform okay, okay. basically you have to to put here the information from the article for uh, and Uh, after that, feel the what you think uh, about the, the the article, what you think that it can improve, uh, all of that stuff. Okay, um, and uh, of course, before that, you have to to choose an uh, article. You can choose a preprint. Okay, so uh, um, before the 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 article the article is submitted. Uh, You can choose. Uh, you have freedom to 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 choose the type of the article, etc. Um, I think you have here a website that I used to choose the the preprint. Uh, okay. I don't know where. Okay, but I think uh, it's maybe here. Uh, let me find it. Oh, yeah, yeah, that one. Okay, you can. Uh, okay. Uh, find here uh, some preprints, so the the uh, articles to review. Okay, you you can choose um, the area that you want. Okay, 
and um, and basically for example machine learning and okay. you can you can um, uh, see articles uh, here okay preprints here for example uh, i can filter for that one that is the the this website and i can choose one preprint and you already have here the 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 preprint okay okay probably this is not a good option but uh, but you have to to search okay that's it uh, you can okay. download read and uh, follow the steps here basically is that okay thank you very much and of course uh you can do as Marcelo uh, do. Marcelo uh, find this this all this stuff. Choose me as a mentor. Send me uh, the previous uh, topics, and we of course the mentor the mentor will help. The idea is just that. In our case, uh, I don't. <laughs> I, I must be honest. I, I don't do anything because. I, we I agree with all the the the, the points that Marcel tell. Okay, yeah. if uh, it is possible, Marcel put your email for everybody, yeah. and we we haven't done uh, this work. We suggest until the J July, uh, if it is possible to send to us the certificate. Don't forget that the certificate allows to complete with success the external curricular unit okay um so i think for now i don't know i think it's all that i want to do to talk but if anyone has any question let me talk marcus how is going the work what when do you intend to present uh, your phd next year this year more or less two years just uh, a little for us to to know please yeah yeah hello so my plan is to present my phd next year okay um, i'm already carrying out uh, several measurements uh, measurements mm -hmm. uh, with uh, participants in our labs at the university of applied science okay um, also on our test benches at the university mm -hmm. and uh, uh, based on the results of these measurements um, I will go ahead with uh, the sensor system okay. I want to use to measure the traction on the uh, outside okay perfect it's an independent uh, measurement system okay uh, using also a machine learning algorithm to detect if uh, the outsole of the running shoe leads to a higher traction or not. Okay, okay, perfect. We want to ask you uh, an update to your nice pitch the next year, okay? It is possible yes. to yes, present yes. to present on 14 July. Okay, thank you. The other, uh, Florian, are you there? I think Florian, yeah, here. Now you, you, should send, hear you send us don't think that we forget okay we send us uh, an email about uh, your work yeah okay i talk with the professor torres pereira and the professor torres pereira will manage we we, we need to talk after in a day okay about okay, perfect. The, don't we don't forget uh, your message okay perfect but, sounds uh, great the direction to talk about uh, with professor torres pereira and we need to think out the best way to succeed the, the project. Okay. Okay. Just Perfect. just one thing. You are working at the University of the or at Vienna municipality. We don't. No, do I I'm working at the uh, University Technicum Vienna. Yes. Yeah. Ah. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, next one. Thank you very much. We'll talk later. Okay. Perfect. Yeah. Now I think we have John and Wanze. I don't forget now Wanze is there. I think Professor uh, Professor Valent already sent an email to begin the work of the UC. Okay. Yeah, and, and I talked with the Professor Paulo Oliveira yesterday. Yeah, I think they send you already an email. 
I don't know if it's for Wednesday or for John, but yes, they, yes, okay, okay. We suggest that don't worry about the all the 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 discipline in one year. We suggest that you select one or two, begin the work. Don't forget that the the PhD has four years of duration. Okay. What is needed is when the work of the thesis is ready, of course, you have to complete the elective part. So we suggest in the first year, you attend to the, the in present at the uh, doctoral consortium. And if possible, made one or two uh, unity, curricular unities. And after choose the others. The idea, of course, uh, uh, is to select disciplines that are important to the your PhD, of course. Uh, sorry, Alexander, you are there, Mens? You are out, or no, Alexander Mens? I think is is need to to halt, but okay. Uh, more we have Chrissy Kaufman we have Bernard Bernard everything is all right with your work you need some assistance Hello. or yes no everything is fine everything on progress okay and I I'm getting all the okay. time perfect support from Mr. Baptista and all okay. the okay thank you we we are we we are going to ask you a small pitch okay <laughs> an update mm -hmm. to, to the this year presentation okay Yes, I will prepare. Okay. I think uh, Omar is also there. Omar is from Nigeria. Are you there? Are you listening to us? Omar. Yes, I'm listening. Okay. How, how are the things in Nigeria? Good Everything afternoon. is all right? Everything is fine, Prof. And the work uh, is doing well? You, yeah, already, but... well, you already talk with the... the um, the Nigerian company of petrol to yes. advance, yes, yes, yes. On okay. After yeah. we need to agend some meeting with them to define the project plan. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yes. Yes. Thanks. Okay. But I've uh, not received my um, the mail for my uses for this year. No. Oh, sorry. I think I read. I'm gonna check. Okay. Sorry. Okay. Sorry. Okay. 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 I think we have more guys. We have a, here two guys that I want to talk before the meeting. One, this is one colleague of ours, but, and from the other guys. Any question? Uh, that you will. Yes, uh, Tish. Um, for the <clears throat> two questions. Um, yes. Uh, the first, I I hope it uh, uh, um, termine the next year. Uh, next year, okay. the thesis suppose, plan. Suppose that you you, okay. you end next year. The, okay. Next year, maybe okay. in the second semester uh, next year. And um, for the, the, uh, the this year for Quinta do Castro, yes. it's necessary to. Uh, the yes. New pitch or update of pitch. The last yes, year. we ask every student, all okay. the students, to bring to us a, a single update to the to the work. Why? Because we need to know how we can help. Okay, we we need to know how things are going. This just uh, that thing, and of course during this day. We present some all the pitch to the other colleagues. Okay, the idea is something like that. Professor, so a uh, note: yes. so, uh, the update of, of the pitch includes yes. the new um, graphics, no? Yes, yes. The okay, idea the is graphic. to, for instance, you, Paulo, in the previous year, you don't have uh, already uh, made the you see. The UCs that you have already done, for instance, yes, you okay. say you put the project plan, you tell everybody, I'm gonna uh, uh, suppose in July, for instance, you 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 may have complete all the relative part, okay? 
So you tell that and okay. what you intend uh, to do in the next uh, the next steps. Okay. Okay. The idea is for everybody to uh, made some point, situation point of the work, and for us direction to understand how we can uh, help you to proceed the work. Okay. Okay. Thanks. Okay. So. Uh, excuse me. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, I um, I haven't received my email either for. Um, can, you put, uh, can you put? Can you put in the chat, uh, please, your per, uh, comp uh, your your um, email for us to uh, update? Okay. You put the correct email. We don't receive here in the chat. Okay. Is this possible? Okay. Thank you. Is there anyone working at the mun municipality of Vienna or no that have some grants or no? Is not there. No. Okay. So, Batista, you want to say something uh, for no, for me? Uh, it's all it's all said. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. Yeah. I I think we have more. Daniel, tás tás por aí? Ou está só virtualmente? Daniel Carrilho. This is a colleague of your of uh, our stuff. You go out now. Ah, okay. And I think we have now other students that want to to apply the the PhD. I think it's Pedro Osório. Yes, Pedro Osório. Are you there? Are you listen? Are you listen to us we don't listen we don't hear anything sorry we see you but we don't hear okay okay hi everyone okay good morning i think uh, morning. Uh, we talk uh, by email yesterday yes is, is you uh, or no yes it's me. yes okay if you have uh, any doubts please uh, you can we can talk uh, uh, if you want by the moment i i guess uh, i have uh, i have no one no okay pedro osorio send an email uh, uh, about uh, how to apply the the phd and of course we we send a message and an email to being with with us tonight to uh, to see how our phd uh, works okay okay thank you for being here okay guys i think uh, um, for now it's all uh, next steps. I'm gonna send. I'm gonna uh, send all the information about this meeting to the to everyone. Okay. I send the videos. I send also the presentation uh, and uh, agend the next meeting to 14 May. In 14 May, we have, we have, I think I already talked with other colleagues, uh, colleagues, students, doc, uh, st doctoral students. Uh, yes, Luis Santos, I think is uh, uh, a student from Professor Antonio Valente that uh, ends the, the PhD now, uh, I think this, he presents in July or June the, the thesis. And, uh, of course, we are going to see other questions. If you have any question, please send me an email and we talk in May, okay? Okay, any more questions? Pois a Margarida que fica aí, que queríamos só dizer ali uma coisa. No question, Francisco. Everything, the work has begun at Brazil or no? Yes, I don't even... Yes, uh, I, I think things, the, the, things are more stable. Is, yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Okay. Start, start again. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, everybody. If you don't have any question, uh, I don't know if Professor Valent wants to say something, mm -hmm. but if no, uh, see you next week. Have a nice weekend. And if you want to send us an email, okay? Okay. All right. Okay. okay. Thank Bye. You Bye. Have a nice weekend. Yes. Bye bye. bye. Have a nice bye. weekend. Good week. Bye. Thank you. Have a good week. Okay. See you. Okay, bye. Have a nice weekend. Bye bye. Okay. Bye. Thank See you. you. Have a good one. See you. Okay. Okay.
Ok? O Guido também está aí. Tem o Guido, deixa estar aí o Guido. Ainda estás a ouvir-nos, Guido? Ou não? Pronto. Pronto, eu não sei se o Guido está aí. Eu queria. Estamos aqui quatro. Quem é que está aqui? Tolo Valente, Margarida, Guido. Mas porquê é que estão aqui quatro? Um, dois, três. Ah, está bem. E o Valente, a Margarida e o Guido. Do... Dois, não? não, não, já, já sei há um bocado. Há um bocado era para mandar o link ao mar. Uh, mas o Guido está por aí. Vou deixar de gravar agora, que já não interessa. Estou a ver a gravação. 